This is the Craftsman 12-inch bandsaw, a mass-produced budget machine of yesteryear. It comes with this stamped aluminum tabletop. I'm going to swap it out for this sweet, delicious cast iron table. They are out there if you can find them, and they are simple to put on. If you want to see how, just check out the video. All right, I got this in the mail. I ordered it off eBay. It was about 60 bucks. And it is a beauty. Just kidding. This thing is dirty, rusty, residual sawdust on the bottom of it. But that's okay, because I'm going to show you how to clean the cast iron, too. It's only three simple ingredients. Scotch-Brite. WD-40. And, of course, paper towels shop and regular this is in real time I'm actually moving this fast uh, I had things to do after this and I was just so excited to get the job done I scored it heavily with WD-40 and I let it sit for a while and then I get to work with the old elbow grease Greasy, baby. Let's take a little sneak peek here, see how we're doing. And we're doing good. Thumbs up means good. Wipe it down. So now I take my palm sander. This is skill. Skill brand, top of the line, best you can get. I just cut out a piece of Scotch Bright, the same size, so it'll fit on there. Put it on the sander, and you know, vibrate away. Ooh, a little squirt or two of WD 40. And away we go. So I put on some 220 sandpaper just to finish it up take off what the scotch bright pad couldn't get and that's it these swirl marks are from the machining of the tabletop craftsman's just a budget machine anyway so they weren't making it glass finish or pretty but it does nothing to nothing to affect the function of the tabletop I'm just going to squirt it with Windex for one final wiping with the paper towel. And this thing is looking slick. And there it is, the finished product. Looks way better than when it first came in. It's not that hard to clean the cast iron, and I'll put on some paste wax after I install it. So now I'll take the front cover off. Take out the sawdust. Take the band off. Hey, do you guys know how to twist up a bandsaw blade like a professional? Let me show you. And that's how you do it. Easy as that. Take notes, send it to mom. Whoopsh! Four bolts. That's all it is. It's that simple. I turned the trunnion at 45 degrees just because it was easier to get to and get a good camera angle. And this also is real time. I am actually moving this fast. All right, there it is. Off its rocker, stamped aluminum to the highest degree.
So here's the side by side. As you can see, they're exactly the same size. And for a budget machine, these old craft and band saws, they're pretty well put together. I mean, these things were built to last. You can find these for like a hundred bucks on Craigslist too. All right, four bolts, here we go. It's this simple. And yes, this is real time. I had to go to the bathroom, so I kind of had to step it up, turn up the speed a little bit, but I mean, nothing unusual. So I got a new blade for this. We're gonna put it on. Real simple to put on. When tightening it, I was taught just to tighten it until there's about a quarter of an inch of wiggle room on it. See the look on that guy's face? That means that it is good to go. Oh, I almost forgot. Obligatory spin. Make sure everything is lined up, it's not hitting the bearings, etc., etc. So to dial this thing in, I put my machinist square on there, and it's got this set screw for real fine-tuned adjustments. Real simple to do. And of course, you have to check it a hundred thousand times. Put the front back on, and let's see how good this thing cuts. I'm gonna cut out this bust of my childhood hero, the old Bart Simpson himself. And again, this is real time. This is how fast I cut. Man, this thing looks great. Took about three hours start to finish. Real simple. You know, my grandfather gave me this saw, so I know he's looking down. What's up, Joe Pat? Keeping the machinery alive.